Hello everyone. Welcome to this demo session on SAP Fiori security training. In this training session, we will learn how does the basic SAP Fiori security works. We will talk about in this course advanced Fiori content. So a lot of you would have attended my basic SAP UI5 and Fiori foundation course. The assumption for this course will be that you are already comfortable with the basic concepts of SAP Fiori like OData services and Fiori application. You have some basic understanding on what a Fiori app is, is exactly look like, what are the components of a simple Fiori app. And then if you have such a Fiori application, how do we integrate that Fiori application with SAP Fiori Launchpad? is actually going to be covered in this course. But those who doesn't come from the technical background has no clue about SAP Fiori. Don't worry. We will also have an introduction session, a quick recap of the foundation concepts as part of this course. However, it's a demo session, so I will not go into the basics once again. Rather, we would right away start with the concepts of SAP Fiori security. We'll talk about how can you create our SAP Fiori Launchpad? Basically, allowing users to customize their Launchpad. We'll look at the key concepts of SAP Fiori Launchpad, including debugging, troubleshooting, finding out the issues, enabling the features into the Launchpad, enabling the app for the end users, applying custom theming on the SAP Fiori Launchpad, changing the login and logout screen. Cache Buster concept and many more things for SAP Fiori Launchpad as part of the security training. As part of Fiori security, we will also look at how can you model the roles, roles for not just your business users, but also the roles for other administrators, which are going to be the owner for Fiori Launchpad. We will discuss later point of time the development concepts for Fiori. Once again, this time with respect to standard Fiori applications. We'll look at how can we install SAP Fiori applications to our system? How can we then configure them, activate, deactivate the Fiori apps? We will talk about after activating Fiori apps, how can we troubleshoot them? And what are all the necessary requirements we have to work with these standard Fiori apps? Not that all, as part of extensions, we will discuss how can we extend standard Fiori apps delivered by SAP using Fiori extension concept and web IDE? Once again, for this particular topic of extension, I would expect that all of you have a clue on Fiori UI5 development because you should ideally know what is a view, what is a controller. So initial part of our course, which is about 30 to 40 percent, will look at Fiori security which is more relevant for basis administrator, the security administrators, managing the roles, profiles, users, managing the, the application activation, deactivation, all the configuration stuff, which is going to be also common for everybody. Those who are coming from SAP basis background or SAP um, security background or SAP portal background, this is going to be very helpful for you. And then in the next phase, we'll talk about the prototyping of Fiori application. So for example, in your company being given a work to design a prototype, how can you do that? And then we go to little more advanced level of development with WebID full stack, exploring the features of full stack, and then creating finally an offline Fiori application. You can see on this picture here, the diagrams, these are all the things which are part of this complete Fiori Advanced Training. You will be eligible to call yourself a Fiori Architect after completion of this training. You can see we will talk about the build tool, the prototyping tool for Fiori. We'll discuss SAP Web ID full stack in SAP Cloud Platform. We will talk about the basic concepts of SAP Cloud Platform, how to connect and configure your SAP on-premise as well as your uh, cloud systems with SAP Cloud Platform, utilizing the destination concept. We will discuss the features of WebID full stack like 
स्टोरी बोर्ड मल्टी वर्क स्पेस बिल्ड फीचर्स ची बेस बिल्ड ऑल दीज कॉन्सेप्ट एंड एडवांस थियोरी कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक ओपा फाइव क्यू यूनिट मॉक सर्व सो लॉट ऑफ दीज थिंग्स विच यू कैंड ऑफ वॉन्टेड टू कवर मी इन टू द बेसिक फाउंडेशन कोर्स बट आई मूव इट इन टू द एडवांस थियोरी द रीजन बींग द बेसिक फाउंडेशन कोर्स इज द प्री रिक्वेस्ट it is again going to be uh, the main foundation for you which is getting built in 40 hours so those who want to become a pure security consultant this training will help you not at all but those who want to become a pure ux consultant or pure ux designer or a pure architect this course is also going to help you if you are coming from sap portal background definitely this will help you a lot because you will be able to then manage the all the security aspects of a sap fury app implementation project with the help of this module we will also then move towards advanced development techniques like building the best practice build optimizing the performance of your application and also all the launchpad concept and launchpad design and theme designer concept and finally we will also come up with an offline fury application this is a fury application which we will build with the hybrid application development toolkit integrated with web ide full stack so in a nutshell i had just covered up the topics what topics will we will be covering of course you can go to my website onlinefurytrainings.com and you can check out the details on complete details on the course content over there so as i mentioned the goal will be to not just configure but also to develop offline fury application at the end you should get an offline fury app and this should be then deployable on not just on your gateway system not just on your sap abap system but also this will be available on a mobile device as an offline app that will be the whole idea for creating the ultimate goal we will be to towards this goal we will learn lot of concepts of security we will also not just learn security but we'll also learn analytic fury apps in this course using annotation modeler so sap fury web id full stack comes with the concept of annotations <laughs> with the help of that you can create a smart filter application as well as advanced fury applications not that all we will also cover some parts of embedded s4 analytics as part of s4 analytics uh, embedded analytics we have four different variety of applications one is called uh, kpi tiles kpi uh, application kpi modeler application then we have alp analytic list pages we have ovp overview pages and we also have then uh, the concepts of uh, query browser app yeah so these are all some embedded analytics application however in this course dedicatedly we will be talking about kpi modeler creating the kpi tiles kpi apps so enough of theory let's move on and talk about the basic concepts of a uh, security so when we start with security the very first thing which comes in our mind or the question comes in our mind in terms of security what is that we want to secure so imagine just an sap system and whenever you have your own sap system in your company what is that you first of all would can think of as a security consultant what is that you want to basically secure so as an sap consultant security consultant or sap fury security consultant what is that basic thing which you need to know or basic thing which you need want to secure so there are two aspects here the first aspect is called authentication and second aspect is called authorization if you can see in these two words authentication or authorization you can see this alphabet e comes before the alphabet o right so you see this vowel e comes before the alphabet o which means the authentication comes first into the concept of security as compared to authorization many times as a security consultant this is the first interview question which you been asked in interviews what is the difference between authentication and authorization so let's talk about the authorize authentication first authentication is nothing but giving access to enter into the system so the first thing which you are giving here is giving an access to enter into the system 
is user having a right authorization to enter inside the system will they be having the right username and password with them to access your system so this is actually the first entry point it's an entry point or entry pass to the system that's called authentication on the other side the authorization once user enter inside the system what is that they can do what activities they can perform what transactions they can access what applications they can use at what level which application they can access for example i have a purchase order or sales order application can i approve a purchase order or i can just just create a purchase order or maybe to an extent can i just see the purchase order i cannot edit or i cannot create so that the granular control is actually achieved with the help of authorization so once user enter inside the system what tasks activities they can perform this is called authorization concept so this is the first thing as part of any security consultant you need to understand the difference between authentication and authorization so the authentication deals with entry point if you have a system in fact this is a common concept across entire software industry nothing related to just be an SAP system but since we are contact uh, since we are learning in context of SAP then maybe let's keep it as an SAP system an SAP ECC system it could be an ECC system it could be a suite system business suite system it could be CRM PLM SRM it, it could be a portal it could be a S4 HANA any of these solution any of these systems it could be but the idea is that we allow user to first access the system access with this username password so the authentication e comes over here and the authorization o comes in later point of time so that's called authorization concept so a very basic point starting point of security so now once the user is available what is that they can do is controlled by authorization now when it comes to sap fiori as you all know sap fiori is the latest sap ui technology after it's a successor or i would say it's a completely renovated user experience for the sap users with uh, the sap webdin pro and bsp and the dialog programming becoming obsolete those who have worked as a developer you know that sap fiori is actually the 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 main user experience now for our end users now together with that what sap does sap sells solutions and these solutions are ECC solution, Suite solution, S4 HANA. These are all the names of solution. So when you are buying a SAP solution, you actually get a lot of apps. So when you buy an SAP solution, this solution comes with a lot of applications. Typically, when you buy an ECC, you get a lot of applications like Create Sales Order, VA01, yeah, ME21N purchase order likewise you get mm01 materials material master right so a lot of these applications you get when you buy an sap solution now when you buy a new sap solution called s4 hana the default user experience for s4 hana is fiori user experience so you now get apps because now companies are moving to mobile they want their end users to access their solution anywhere anytime on any device and for that to enable that's where the fury comes so handy and so useful for the end users and that's why the default implementation the default applications which you have now in s4 hana are not transactional based more more or less they are run on the browser you can run them on any browser on any platform any time 24 by 7 with high availability and you can run them on your mobile device as well so this is the biggest transformation or evolution which has happened in recent uh, recent couple of years with introduction of sap fury so then the question comes as a fury security consultant what is my, am i supposed to do so if we talk about the roles and responsibilities in the system
we would like to here have maybe four different types of users so what are these four different types of users as a in context of security so there will be of course different different people in the company so let's draw them here let's bring those four people so guys whom are we serving for as a technical consultant our main purpose is to fulfill this guy's requirement this is your business user this is a user who is the final SAP user, who is the user who is using the SAP solution. And this is the user who is actually creating purchase orders, who is creating sales orders, who is approving the leave request, who is creating the, uh, the purchase requisition, who is creating an accounting document. This is your final user. This is the user who is, is the employee of a company, who is an employee, or it could be these days a customer of a company whom are we serving so this is your user who is the business user what are the main roles and responsibility of a business user to perform its daily tasks using sap solution example create purchase order sales order materials manage accounting documents he is the end user, he is the actual user of the solutions, of the software. That is what this user does. This is an employee of a company who has purchased an SAP solution to manage its business. You can call it as an ERP user as well. Is a user in an ERP system. That's our business user. Now, on top of it, there's another guy. What is this guy? This guy also close in very close to this business user. He's actually SAP Fiori security consultant. What are the main job responsibilities of Fiori security consultant? Fury security consultant's job is to manage users, which means create a new user so that they can access the system. Basically, the first alphabet O, authorization. He has to create users, sorry, authentication. He has to create users. He has to reset their passwords so many times when your sap user gets logged as a developer when you're working you have to go to your administrator these are also known as basis guys sometimes we call them as basis they also take care not just the security part sometimes but they also take care of installation of required components upgrades notes they are the administrator of the system. They are having all the necessary authorization to their user. They are the super user. They control everything okay, in the system. They also monitor the system. They make sure that no security has been breached into the system. Now, the main task which technical task which they actually do is based on the need based on the security requirements their job is to create or i would say maintain roles now that's where the new term comes for you those who come from the non security background what is a role right a role is actually now here is to control the authorization the second thing which we discussed on the last slide so after user enter in the system they actually cannot do anything you just created a user given it a username password to them they can't do anything in the system for them to do something in the system and use the system you need to assign a role a role pertains to a business function in a company for example a role can be my sales representative okay an example of a role could be sorry example could be sales representative what is a sales representative does in the company 
they create quotations they create sales order then you have sales manager sales manager approve the sales orders created by sales representative right that's what sales manager does for example in your company when you're working you're working as an employee so employee is a role when i sign this employee role to your user you get basic employee function as part of an employee of a company you get basic function like you can create leave request you can create timesheet entries so all of us fill timesheets in our company what work have we done today what how much hour we spent on which are all the activities that's a timesheet application correct so all these things are managed by the roles so a role is particular to a particular business function in the company and we assign these roles or a security or a basis consultant assign these roles to whom the roles are assigned to the business user exactly so that is the main job responsibility of a security consultant so that is where we will be focusing our initial part of the course we will be uh, actually learning the fury security concepts and then little bit of administration task we will also go we will see how to implement cache busters how to e activate deactivate services how to give create roles which give access to these services yeah how to check the security breaches in the system logging mechanism what are the important transaction codes which are needed for you to know as part of security consultant especially in context of sap fiori security guys we are not going to cover here sap basis we are not going to cover here how to give role to transaction codes to a user that we will not be covering but rather in context of sap fiori what is needed to access the apps what is needed to configure the apps what level of authorization we want to give to the users so that's what our job will be as a fury security consultant so now also if you add uh, one more important thing the business user how will they access the fury app they access sap fury app from sap fury launchpad and I'm sure all of you have heard about Launchpad, but if not, if it's a new term, please understand Launchpad is nothing but it's a single entry point for all your Fury applications. Okay. Simple and sweet definition of a Fury Launchpad. In our last module, in our last foundation course for SAP UI FF and Fury, we learned how to create Fury app from scratch. We learned the concepts of UI5. We learned the concepts of view controller, MVC architecture, and we learned how to build a Fury app from scratch. Then we also saw how to deploy to the system, but we didn't probably go deeper into the concepts of how to give access to this Fury app to the end user. We, we went ahead with a simple uh, flow to see that, but we did not actually go and we, we did not actually um, uh, you know saw the deep level of the security concepts how to create these stuff so that's what we will be covering in this course actually as a security consultant so that you actually get an end-to-end -end overview because many a times what happens in a company if you know everything end-to-end -end, then you really can create a good reputation but if you are lagging in some certain parts of of it then it's it's little challenging you may not know what's going on on the part you got to be dependent on somebody else that's the worst thing because if that person is not working then your work is also kind of hampered or stopped right so this is why in this course we learn all of these things end to end so now the fury security consultant or fury basis guy this guy also has a very important task this guy also sometimes will be actually creating the launch pad from launch pad designer all right very important so you saw there is a launch pad which is used by users to open the fury apps to access the fury apps but how does this launch pad is designed how does the tiles are designed if you created a custom fury app let's say i created a custom fury app called products and i want now this fury app to be available on the launch pad users can should be able to access it from the tile 
So where is the tile get created? This is a very important question, which all of you have asked me in the foundation course and about how do I create a tile to, to give an access to my user? So that's where the Launchpad Designer comes into picture. So whenever you're working with SAP Fiori, App Access, you want to give an access to the app. The very first thing as a Fiori security consultant is to you use SAP Fiori Launchpad Designer. The transaction code in SAP system is plus slash and slash UI2 slash FLPD conf and slash n slash ui2 underscore flpd cust these are two transactions now what is the difference between them cust and conf we will discuss that in a second now on the other side we have sap fury launchpad itself which is actually used by your end users to actually access the fury apps so they don't care how did you design it what they just care it's a software for them they just want to use it just the way you buy a new iPhone or new new mobile phone Android phone you want to you don't care how that app is designed you don't care how the whatsapp is designed how the uber is designed you just want to use them right so that's what the end user perspective is end users just want to use the apps and for them to use the app the fury launchpad is what they actually use they have no idea no clue about launchpad designer and they don't even know there is something called a launchpad designer at times because for them it doesn't matter what they just want is to start this guy and access the apps uh, which they have. So for this, the transaction code is slash and slash UI2 slash FLP, Fury Launchpad. I hope this is clear. So maybe I will quickly at this point of time connect to my SAP system. And we will, of course, discuss about server access towards the end of today's class. What is the options for server access you all have to practice all these concepts? So don't worry. Uh, let me just connect to my system. So we just connect to SAP. So we now connected to SAP system and now here we will use the transaction code as I mentioned to open the Fury Launchpad, which is the, for the end user. So IGAC slash and slash ui2 slash flp fury launchpad press enter you guys can also store this as part of your favorites actually so in SCP system you can right click here you can say insert transaction and now here you can also say slash ui2 slash flp please store this here and you can see this becomes a standard uh, it's part of your favorites menu the transaction code so it makes it little easy and handy for you what i usually do is i create groups here so i create a folder and i say create a my fury related uh, transactions and then i'm just going to add all those transactions which are my my fury related transactions inside this actually so fury launchpad i'm going to add in the transaction slash and slash okay slash ui2 slash FLPD conf, as you can see, it's been added, and I'll also add FLPD slash UI2 slash SEM OBJ underscore SAP. So, you see, these are the T codes we will be using, guys, as a Fury security consultant to be able to work with these things. We have concept of um, Fury launchpad checks, we have concept of cache clearing, we have concept of a theme designer. Of course, we will be uh, learning all these things as and when we will progress in our module okay so now that's about fury launchpad so i'm just going to uh, also use this url the recommended browser by sap for sap fury launchpad is chrome browser okay for using sap fury the recommended browser by sap is use the chrome browser that is more recommended so maybe i just st my url i will type in here and you'd see this is how your fury launchpad looks like this is a standard look and feel over the period of time as in when we will learn new things we will see how to also change this log on screen suppose your company want you to change the the log on screen the background picture of the log on screen so we will see all of this uh, we can actually change all of this as, as, a, as, as a fury security consultant or as a fury consultant of course we will be able to do it so that's about the introduction of Fury Launchpad. 
and similarly we'll have a launchpad designer which we'll look at a little later so let's come back here so that's about your fury security consultant or a fury consultant or fury security consultant who actually does all these stuff so this is the main chunk this is the main area where we will be learning all these concepts of fury security consultant all right let's come to the next one is called sap ui5 developer role or sap fury developer or sap ui5 developer or fury developer what is this person does the main job role responsibility for this person is to create the brand new fury applications okay like what we did in our foundation course so those who are attending this demo for the first time if you are want to learn sap ui5 and fury from scratch you can always go to my website onlinefurytrainings.com and you can see here this is the foundation module for sap ui5 and fury and by the way there is no prerequisite to learn this module we already started a live batch yesterday for this as well it's a weekday batch you can always go and check the details of this next batches over here in the next batches section so this course there is no prerequisite even a fresher can attend this training and learn how to create ui5 and fury applications from scratch there is no java required there is no javascript required there's no prerequisite actually everything which is needed is covered in the course itself so you can go and subscribe this particular module if you are interested to know basics or foundation for building ui5 and fury and this is so important for us moving forward because you should know the architecture you should know the basics you should know what is an odata what is a fury application what is an mvc architecture these things are so important for us to go deep dive because later point of time we will also be extending the fury application which are delivered by sap and that time if you don't know what is a view you will not be able to understand the view extensions if you don't know what is a controller you will not be able to understand controller extension if you don't know what is component js you will not be able to write the extension points in your component js so this is why i always say the first module which you should ideally learn is sap ui5 and fury training and there is no prerequisite to learn this and any fresher can also learn this who has little bit of programming knowledge that's all is needed and you can easily learn this particular course especially those who are sap portal consultants um, who are now seeing a, a great shift towards fury this is a, becomes an essence now becomes quite quite important and critical so that you can learn these things all right now on the next side you see we have this one fury enhancement and launchpad training with fury security concepts this is the current module we are into this is the demo we are having right now and this is in this piece of course in this piece of course we will be learning the concepts of fury security and web id full stack with sap cloud platform together with deployment the cloud connector concept the roles uh, enhancements activation deactivation of standard apps creating launchpad launchpad using launchpad designer uh, cache buster concept and a lot of latest features advanced features uh, which i could not cover in this particular course advanced features like opa5 q unit uh, mock server uh, sandbox system all these things best practice built node.js programming all this we will be learning in the current module which we are having you can only anyway go and check the course content from from the website please feel free to email to uh, minakshi uh, and she will give you the necessary details if you guys want server access also the, uh, the you can also ask her she will provide you the details for server access as well i had put the email id in the chat window you guys can copy from there you can also reply on our website and then she will come into action and reply so guys have to check out because there are so many emails coming up yesterday we had a demo on foundation course today we have a demo on advanced course we are starting first time two batches together so it's a little tricky happening for me i have a couple of meetings also lined up for more questions feel free to email me directly you all have my email id or you can email to me now as well thank you so much catch you up goodbye